too. The, it's the world's first and so far only totally sealed miniature world meant for human habitation. In terms of engineering and architect, the biosphere too is remarkable. In the start of the first mission, the biospherians, a group of scientists who were trained to carry out specific tests during the mission, had high hopes. They were determined to demonstrate that a colony of humans could sustain itself inside a bubble, producing their own food and recycling waste and water. And the rest of the time, they would conduct ecological research. The ocean biome. The ocean biome is 850 square meters. Fish and other sea animals thrive in the man-made enclosure. The ocean biome at Biosphere 2 is a 676,000 gallon saltwater tank that was originally designed as a coral reef. The ocean provides a large platform for scientific research that can replicate some aspects of the complex real ocean in a controlled environment. It's a replica of the Gulf of California. We also have a video. Every single person I tell that I'm a marine biologist in Tucson laughs at me and says, why is a marine biologist in the desert? Um, and I really then explain to them, well, I live in a desert, but it's not far from the ocean, and it's actually connected to the ocean. So I wanted a way to tell that story generally to people who come here from all over the world and think they're just in a desert that's so far from the ocean, but they're actually really connected to the ocean even as they stand in Biosphere 2. Biosphere was built and constructed in 1991, which meant that the temperature that the water was maintained at was a relatively narrow band. That means that you have to use quite a bit of energy and not let the temperature drop below your minimum or get above your maximum. And by doing so, um, oftentimes you use quite a bit of energy. The, the ocean is the most expensive biome to maintain. And in fact, when, when we took it over, there was a serious conversation as to whether we should just empty it out. But we were still having those sorts of conversations when Rafe showed up. When it was a coral reef, you actually had to keep it in a very narrow range of temperature. And that causes a lot of cost and energy expenditure in terms of heating and cooling to really control the temperature in a narrow range. And that coral reef is basically dead now. And so what we have now is a huge ocean environment with very little life in it. And we saw it as an ideal opportunity to showcase a regionally appropriate ocean system, which is the Gulf of California, in order to show our visitors and conduct research on the connections between Divided into four major regions, 
quartzite slope of upper savanna, granite slope, and lower savanna. The north northernmost section of the savanna consists of quartzite slope made from quartzite boulders. The savanna waterfall is located in this area. The upper savanna has three sections of vegetation. Its main pr priority is to provide a hydro uh, hydro transition zone between the desert and rainforest. to crawfish, snails, and snowfish, <coughs> sailfin, mollusks, mud crabs, dirty shrimp, mangroves, crabs, killifish, amphipods, sponges, and natural fish. The fog desert biome, 1,400 square meters, designed to stimulate a desert ecosystem in a coastal climate with erratic rainfall and summer drought, excessive rain, humid and moist temperature, home to many desert adapting plants such as cacti, pumpleweeds, Thank you. 